up and welcome back. My name is Pandora and welcome back to another video of Dear Mona, chapter 25. Ten more left. <laughs> Ten more left. Rhonda. I let my mom have her fun that day. I knew she was planning to throw me a huge baby shower, but I just couldn't get excited about it. I didn't totally forgive her for what she'd done. But at this point in my life, I needed my mother. Even if I had others to help me too. Pandora! I'm so glad you were able to come by. Hi, Miss Lee. You mentioned something about a proposal. Oh, yes! I'll cut to the chase. I'd like to offer you a job. A job? Really? My son usually runs the shop, but he just got married and he wants to take some time off. I see. Wow, thank you for thinking of me. What would I have to do exactly? Well, that would be up to you. Would you like to be a cashier or stock shelves? You'll meet some interesting cust characters either way. <coughs> cashier, please. Because she's pregnant, she'll need me stocking shelves. A cashier, I suppose. Is it hard to learn? No, no. It's all easy. We don't sell many products here, after all. Most people come for a psychic reading. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. I barely thought about a job. I've been so preoccupied. Understandable. But you're going to be okay. The baby is going to be such a light in your life. I hope so. I have hair in my face. Mondays and Wednesdays after school and Saturday mornings. How does that sound? How do I like my work schedule? Sounds great. I really appreciate this. Splendid. Now, can you stay and talk for a minute? I think I'd give you a clue about who the father is. Something just came to me. First, let me ask you this. Who do you want to be the father? Go with your gut and answer me quickly. I think Mark is the father. Interesting. I actually think I can give you a hint on who the father is. You know who the father is? Jeez, that's tempting. But I don't think I need any more confusion in my head. After all, I won't know for sure until the prenatal test. If that's what you wish... Let me know if you change your mind. I will, Miss Lee. See you on Monday. Wow, I can't believe I got a job. It's probably a good thing. I'm going to need a steady income. Can we talk? Who is this? Linda. Mark's mother. Oh, God. What the heck does she want? Hi, Linda. Is there something I can help you with? I'm going to know what's going on. I want to know what's going on. Mark won't talk to me. I'm sorry to hear that. Why did you make him so upset? That's between Mark and me. If he wants to tell you, he will. You should have a little respect, you know. Your family has put my family through a lot. You lost my respect. You had no right to scream at me the way you did. And th frankly, you traumatized your family too. With that... Absurd idea to move overnight. 
You made Mark suffer as much as your husband did. I know I've been through a lot, but you need to calm down now. How dare you speak to me that way? You have no manners to speak of. You know, that isn't true. It certainly does seem like it. You've been a terrible influence on Mark. I want you to stay away from my son. Too late for that. He's nearly 18 years old. He can make his own decisions. It doesn't matter anyway. He's moved on. What do you mean he's moved on? He's out with Rhonda right now. Rhonda? Who the heck is Rhonda? I'm done with this conversation. Please don't text me again. What are you doing here, Blair? I wanted to apologize. Pandora mate took me by surprise. I didn't want to make it seem like I was ashamed of you. Are you ashamed of me, Blair? I feel like a dog on a leash when I'm with you. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm like that. It's just, I'm not cool enough. Is that it? No, of course not. I really love being with you. Is If that's true, would you be willing to make it official? Let the whole school know? Ah, so nothing has changed. I like to find someone who is proud of me. And even though I think you're the most beautiful girl in the world, I'm looking at someone who is beautiful on the inside too. He ain't lying. <laughs> Thanks for coming to talk. It's been a really crazy day. Of course. Anything could hap good happen? I got a job. You did? Yeah. At one of my teacher's shops. What? You don't seem happy for me. Well, won't it be hard to balance with school? It's only like 10 to 12 hours a week. I need the money. I just, I don't want you to drop out or something. You need, if you need the money, I can help. I would never drop out. I'm finishing high school if it's the last thing I do. I can handle both. Okay, I believe you. That's one of the things I love about you. You're determinate. Sean said he liked my determination. What do I say? <laughs> That's sweet of you to say. Thank you. My pleasure. But you will let me know if you need anything. Of course. All I really need is a healthy baby in seven months. That would make me the happiest. Oh my god, I'm getting a call from my do the doctor. Hello. Yes, this is Pandora. Really? Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, see you then. What did the doctor want this this late? She told me that the test results are in are on their way. I'll be getting them in exactly a week. Wait a second. Test results. What test results? Oh, um, yeah. I hope he won't be upset at I didn't hadn't told him earlier. There's something I have to tell you. An unexpected apology. Does an unexpected apology leave you surprised or suspicious? That is chapter 26, and I will see y'all in chapter 26. We only got a few more chapters left, and then we'll be on to a new one. Matter of fact, let's see.
there are plenty of stories. Right, I'm on Dear Mona, which has more uh, things, but there's Billionaire's Darling, there's The Baby Scandal, there's Matchmaker, Bad Judgment, Office Lovers. If you see anything, see, here's the second one I was thinking about playing, Love Mona. But if there's anything you see that you would like me to read next, please don't hesitate to let me know. But I'm hoping y'all are liking this series because I am loving it. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.